It's estimated that up to three billion animals were killed or displaced during the 2019 Black Summer bushfires. Now, conservationists fear for the survival of vulnerable species ahead of what's predicted to be the most severe bushfire season since. In the Greater Blue Mountains west of Sydney, ecologists have been tracking the endangered greater gliders in the Wombian Conservation Area. At a property not far from Sydney, these ecologists are looking for signs of one of Australia's most elusive animals. Doctors Peter and Judy Smith have been surveying greater gliders since 2015, when they noticed a decline in the population here. It was harder to find where the greater gliders were. They weren't there, they were places we expect them to be. The official count starts after sundown. There's a dark tail hanging down. Greater gliders feed on eucalyptus leaves and can glide up to 100 metres. The 2019 bushfires destroyed large sections of their habitat. Good news and bad news. The severely burnt sites where they've been wiped out by the fires, there's still no sign of recovery, still no greater gliders. But where they had still been present after the fire, their numbers have actually boomed. Despite that resurgence, conservationists say greater gliders are an indicator species and their overall decline is a red flag. It would be a signal that other species, uh, maybe more obscure or species that we don't know so much about, would also have been affected uh, quite significantly. There are more than 300 Australian species listed as endangered. To have another, another fire event of the scale and the intensity of Black Summer could be, for some species, the, 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 the final you know, death knell, sadly. Scientists describe Australia as one of the most diverse countries in the world when it comes to unique species and habitats. With that megadiversity comes the responsibility to protect rare species from becoming extinct. We have so many species that once they're lost from Australia, there's nowhere to go. There's nowhere to be able to bring them back. Australia holds the world record for the most mammal extinctions. And in data collected for the International Union for Conservation of Nature, ranks third for the number of threatened animal species. We all need to act much more effectively now, government, non-government, individuals. Those working on the front line of habitat loss say it's about the bigger picture. The basic thing is control climate change. If we don't do that, whatever other actions we take aren't going to be successful in the long term. Now more than ever, highlighting the need to protect our biodiversity. Sophie Bennett, SBS World News. All time now for Sunday Night Sport with Brianna.